if you want to go the extra mile and create uh, like a gaseous background like you see in pictures from outer space or you want to create a sun type effect maybe peeking out from behind the planet then you can do this. This is not a requirement of the assignment, this is just an FYI. Um, okay, to create some nebula, what you're going to want to do is put them behind the planet. Um, you can put them behind the stars or in front, doesn't matter. But we're going to go to the black layer behind the planet and we're going to hold down the control key and we're going to create a new layer. And we're going to use the alt key and fill the background with black and we're going to set it to screen. Then we're going to come over here to our color palette and we're going to um, maybe use red as our foreground color. <clears throat> then we're going to go into layer 8, which is what we just created, and we're going to do filter and um, render and we'll do clouds. And then you'll get this strange thing like this. If you do control I for invert you will get blue type clouds. If you don't like those blue clouds, what you can do is go to Image, Adjustments, Hue and Saturation, and you can change the hue and saturation this way to create some really cool clouds, like maybe some wonderful red clouds. Maybe take your saturation, it's up to you. Play with the lightness, or darkness actually, and say OK and then you can change your opacity. You can go to Image Adjustments Levels if you want to really try and bump them up a little bit more. Remember we're going for special effects here, not realism. You can say OK. Now if you do these with adjustment layers it'll be easier to change things, but once again this is special effects so we don't have to do that. And if I put this all the way at the background, it's going to be more subdued. If I put it part way through, it'll allow some of those planets to show through a little bit better. Once again, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. So that's one way to do the nebula. And I encourage you to experiment and find your own ways. Now I'm going to create a new layer above the nebula layer. And I'm going to do Alt Backspace. Whoops. I'm going to do D for default, default colors, then I'm going to do Alt Backspace and set that to Screen. And I'm going to do Filter, Render, Lens Flare, and now this is where you have to kind of experiment and try and figure it out on your own. Um, I'm going to make my brightness pretty big, and I'm going to maybe make it, I don't know, you can experiment around with whichever one you like best. And I'm pretending that I can see the planet on here somewhere. And that's how you can make it so that a light comes from behind a planet. Remember, once again, you're going to run into that problem that we've had in the past with the corners showing. If that happens, all you have to do is put a mask on that layer. And um, we will do a gradient and we'll just do it the other way around. You're going to have white foreground color like that and that will help to get rid of some of it. Now doing it in the corner is going to make it more difficult to do. So actually I would consider if that happens to you just do um, X ah trash that actually. Trash your layer mask. Discard. And then do X. Because we need for black to be the foreground color. Just make sure black's your foreground color. Then Alt Backspace. We're going to get rid of what we just did. Then we're going to do Filter, Render, Lens Flare. And we're actually going to do it kind of in the middle this time. And say OK. And I'm going to turn off my planet so I can see what's going on. And now I'm going to do that layer mask again. And that will help get rid of your edges. Turn your planet back on and move the mask. Yeah, there you go.
over to the edge. Okay, however you want to do it. Now, if you are thinking like I'm thinking, that maybe the planet has a kind of a stiff edge, one thing that you can do is you can do control, click on it, pick it up as a, as a um, selection, then go to select, uh, modify, and you want to contract the selection. And we'll contract the selection maybe by, oh, I don't know, 10, nah, let's do it by 5 pixels. And then we're going to select feather, and we're going to feather it by another 5 pixels, and say OK. And now I'm going to do Control H so I can't see the crawling ants. I want to see how this edge looks right in here. And I'm going to do Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to blur the heck. Ah, cancel. Control Shift I. We have to inverse the selection because we want to get the edge, not the middle. Sorry about that. Control H to hide. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now we're going to take that edge and we're going to blur it out. And this is also a way that you can create um, an atmosphere around your planet if you experiment around with it. but it'll help soften that edge a little bit. And you can also control D to deselect. Do this on just the black layer and you can do select, modify, contract and we'll contract by 5 pixels. Control shift I to select your inverse and then just delete. And that really helps get rid of that edge because what we were seeing was the black. So once again, this is more extra credit type stuff. I'm not expecting that you do this, um, but it shows you a few more techniques that you can do to create a really cool picture.